Good morning. Here's your cruise news for Tuesday, June 27th. A passenger on board Royal Caribbean's Mariner of the Seas was rescued after going overboard during the weekend. The incident occurred Sunday afternoon while the ship was sailing on the southeast end of the DR. Reportedly, a guest went to take a selfie. That didn't work out. She fell in the water, which caused the ship to stop, launch survival craft, and go recover her from the water. She is okay. Mariner of the Seas continued its itinerary. It's due back into Port Canaveral this weekend. An American cruise line has reached an agreement with the Bar Harbor port officials after their ship, the Constitution, made an unauthorized visit to the port. On June 15th, the ship showed up without a reservation, prompting the town to consider legal action. Now, local residents argue that ship visits harm their quality of life, and they successfully passed an initiative limiting daily cruise ship passengers to 1,000, despite the town's previous agreement with larger cruise lines. However, some residents and small business owners believe that 1,000 passenger caps really limit the tourism for the area. The town is expected to go to court next month. And if you know someone who wants to work on a cruise ship, tell them to pack their bags. Following a temporary pause in 2020, Carnival has relaunched its Internship at Sea program, providing opportunities for students who want a career on the ocean. Now, currently 24 students from 24 different universities across the U.S. have been welcomed aboard Carnival's fun ships, taking on roles such as youth staff, fun squad, technicians, and sports staff members. In 2019, the internship program was recognized as one of the top 100 internship programs in the country. If you know someone that's interested, have them head to the internship section at carnivalentertainment.com. And cruise line stocks were down on Monday. Carnival Corporation down 7.5%, 14.60. Royal Caribbean down 1%, 97.24. And Norwegian down 4.5%, 18.53. Breaking news and industry coverage at cruiseradio.net. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today.